You see? Okay. So you have to kind of mix it up. And which mask is this? This is a 24 karat gold mask. Okay. It's actually great for lifting and tightening the skin. Okay. And how much is this to purchase? We actually don't even have it for sale. The only time they'll do it is in the Amore Pacific Spa. Okay. And the service itself is $200. Oh, wow. Just to do the mask. Okay. But we usually like to, you know, give it as a gift to our clients. Oh, thank you. <laughs> gonna feel kind of cold in the beginning okay this video is all for my skincare lovers out there <laughs> It does feel cold. Right? But it feels good. The after effect of it is amazing. Once we take it off, I'm gonna let you touch your skin and you're gonna feel how much more tightening and vitalizing the skin feels afterwards. So how often should a person get this mask done? You can actually do it twice um, in six months. Okay. Every, every two months you can do it actually. Okay. And if this isn't available for purchase and self-application, you have to go to a spa? Mm-hmm. That's the thing. This is why we don't really sell it, because okay. it's impossible to do it yourself. You okay. have to lay down to do it. Um, otherwise, if you're sitting up, it's just going to be dripping off of your face. And where are Amori Pacific Spas located? Uh, South Korea. Oh. In Soho. And Soho, New mm -hmm. York? Oh, okay. And then they used to have it in Soho, um, New York, but I think they closed it off mm. at this point. So right now, as of Amore um, Pacific Spa, it's only in Korea. Oh, so I happen to be going to Korea next February to watch the Olympics. <laughs> so <laughs> where in Korea by. is a spa? <laughs> they actually have um, the field where you can go to and then see where they grow the green tea um, for Amore Pacific okay. products okay. and then you can actually try the tea okay. that we use for our products. Oh wow. They're on, we have a Jeju Island. Okay. But yeah, you can like fly in there and then see the whole um, like factory okay. where they produce Amore Pacific products. It's actually amazing. My boss have done that mm -hmm. and she just was in awe. I have to look that up. Maybe we can do a tour. Yeah, they actually have that available. Really? Mm-hmm. Okay. Do you get free samples? <laughs> I think you get like some kind of goodies whenever you go to um to the factory. I think you do. Mm, okay. So it feels cold, but it feels a little itchy too. Yeah? yeah. That's normal. As long as it's like not burning or anything, it's okay. fine. No, it's not burning, it's just a little itchy right around. You know, I know. Yeah, that's yeah. what most of the people say. Yeah. This is so nice. This is my first time. What is this event called? Beauty Creator. Beauty Creator. Mm -hmm. And it's a Neiman Marcus event. Mm -hmm. okay. They actually have that also in um, Nordstrom too. Okay. Wherever they have Amore Pacific, we have this kind of event. Yes, because I buy products from uh, Neiman Marcus and Nordstrom. You do? Yeah. It depends on who has the uh, the, <laughs> the gift with purchase. <laughs> but I do like Amore Pacific products. I feel like um, the... The uh, serums and the toner, they 
feel really good on your skin like you can feel it mm -hmm. coating your skin yeah, plus the serums are the most concentrated products that we have, mm -hmm. so they do penetrate deeper into the skin, especially with the technology that Amore Pacific uses. Mm -hmm. And that's a little pricier, but like for your moisturizer, mm -hmm. you only have to use a little. Just and a little bit. Yeah, the and it goes a long way. The whole should last you for about six months. And it does, it does. It comes with a little paddle. And I just, you just get just a little bit on the top edge top tip of the paddle and it covers your whole face yeah yeah and then you use the same moisturizer for both day and night yes and i have gotten samples of the day and night moisturizer mm -hmm. and it works very well yeah. also all right so we're just gonna let that be for about 20 minutes okay let me get a close-up of this here <laughs> And we will be back with the after. <laughs> oh, it is hard. Mm -hmm. So it's ready to take off. See? That's your face right here. <laughs> 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 and then um, if you want to touch it, it feels like it's like a almost rubbery. It does. Mm -hmm. It's very thick. Mm -hmm. It's like an actual fabric mask yeah. or something. <laughs> and then touch your face now too. Like you see like the skin is really Oh more, my gosh. More lifted and tight. Yes, it's so tight. <laughs> Feels like new skin. That's the whole point. That's amazing. So it does feel tight, it feels smooth. I like it. <laughs> yeah, afterwards, mm -hmm. I love the feeling. Right after you take it off. Mm -hmm. Just getting all the excess like residue from the mask mm -hmm. off. Because usually it dries off and then sometimes like on the edges mm -hmm. um, it leaves like dry spots. So I just want to make sure everything is removed. So after the mask, is there anything else we need to do or do we just... We just do the whole regimen. Oh, okay. Starting okay. with the toner. Okay. Like I said, like two drops of it okay. is enough okay. for the whole face. So just press that in. This is the toner I use, right? Mm -hmm. It's the thicker of the two. That's that the you one have that you on. have, yeah. What is it on call? The time response toner. Okay. And then right after that, I'm going to actually use our own Essence. Okay. It's the newest product. It actually is a bit lighter than the toner. Okay. It's kind of like a brownish color, but it has no scent and okay. kind of like no texture really to it. It okay. absorbs right in. So this one, you just press it in. Okay. Like that. And then it goes right in. And it's basically like probiotics for your skin. Okay. Protecting your skin from any environmental damage. And you do have to apply it before you do your serum. Okay. So this is step what? Three, four? That's going to be, <laughs> well, after cleansing, cleansing exfoliating, exfoliating, toning, okay. then you do the essence. And okay. it, this is called the Vintage Single um, Essence Extract. Okay. And then following that, we will do the Oldie Balancing Care Serum. This is the serum that I actually wanted you to try. Okay. Um, two pumps. Anything that has a pump with a more Pacific, you only okay. do two pumps. Okay. And then with your skin type, you do have to do it both day and night. 
Really? With people who have extremely dry skin, they would only do it um, for the daytime. Okay. With people who have combination to oily skin, uh -huh. both day and night. Okay. And this is gonna balance out your skin. Um, it works basically with your birhythmical clock. Okay. So any of the stress that you get, like from not getting enough rest, um, mm -hmm. not getting enough sleep, or traveling, um, all of that can affect the skin, and okay. um, it's kind of like stressful for the skin. So this makes the skin believe like none of that is happening. Okay. Oh, okay. Probiotics for the skin. <laughs> We're protecting our skin as much as we can. Um, and then you're gonna follow that like you can also do for the night your brightening serum the one okay. that you already have Okay, um, but for the daytime I would just use the all day balancing care and then you can do it on top of your regular moisturizer and okay. then um, your eye essence and the eye cream So eye is last Yes, well okay. in my routine. Yeah, I like to finish up with the face first. Okay, then I concentrate on eyes Oh, okay, okay, okay. and then um, for your moisturizer. Do you like a bit of a thicker texture or light? Um, I use the time response cream or gel because we have both cream cream okay. is a gel better gel is just a bit lighter texture um, but do it you does have the gel thing. here so I do try it yeah you want to try, try the gel yes. I'm gonna show you see how much lighter it is compared to the oh um, yeah yeah it is because yeah, the cream is so thick that you can put it on your finger and it wouldn't go anywhere. And <laughs> yeah. This is how much I use. Okay. Okay. Just the tiniest amount. Okay. That's all you really need. So I have been told recently that it is good to switch up your skincare lines mm -hmm. so that your skin does not build up, I guess, a tolerance to it or something like that. That's actually true for lines who are using more chemicals. Okay. For lines who are more botanicals and natural, okay. that's not really true because your skin never gets used to it. Okay. Okay, that makes sense. That's why I actually hear that a lot too from my clients. They're mm -hmm. always saying, oh, I have to switch it up. Um, but if they, you know, if they've been using lines that do have a lot of chemicals, that's actually bad for the skin because okay. skin kind of gets lazy and it mm -hmm. stops to produce its own collagen and elasticity. Okay. Um, so that's why they always tell them, like, go ahead and switch it up. Okay. Um, but with natural um, ingredients, Mm -hmm. uh, we just add ingredients that kind of triggers for your own skin to produce your own collagen. We don't okay. add collagen. We okay. just have the EGCG extract, which is the most concentrated um, thing you're going to get from the green tea. Okay. Um, and that's going to trigger for your own skin to produce its own hyaluronic acid, its own collagen, okay. and its own elasticity. Okay. So that's the main difference between um, more of a botanical lines okay. and then, um, more chemical. So is a more Pacific considered more botanical? Yes, okay. if we use only Asian botanicals. The main okay. ingredient is the green tea. Okay. Um, we also have bamboo sap and ginseng. Okay. But the green tea is kind of like, we actually have like our own field um, oh. in the Jeju Island, like okay. where they grow the tea. Okay. All right, now let's use the eye essence. Okay. And it has a, a pump. Okay. It's almost like a pen. Okay. So first you pump it and then you see like the product comes out. Okay. So first you're going to distribute it on both eyes. And then just roll it out. When I use this product, I sometimes go up into the brow, under mm -hmm. the brow bone area. You can Is that do okay? in the, yeah, in the motion, like a round motion. Okay, okay. Like that. You never want to mm -hmm. do too close to the lash line though. Oh. Um, with any of the eye products. Really? Mm-hmm. Is that because it, it kind of comes up a little bit? It can, yeah, it can get into the eye and it can cause the allergic reaction. Okay. Eye area is very sensitive. Okay. And this is actually like the thinnest skin that we have on our body. Ah, oh, so that's eyes. why you only lightly roll it mm -hmm. on. This, I love the metal roller just to debuff mm -hmm. the eye area. If you ever feel puffy in the morning, mm -hmm. this would actually be perfect. This is a product I do have and I do use. Mm -hmm. And then whatever is left off, you can just massage around. And then it doesn't really matter which way you're going. You can either go this way, massaging mm -hmm. it around. And then it has a very light texture, so it absorbs right in. 
Yes. Okay, next up is your eye cream. Okay. And Good. also just the, um, the smallest amount. Okay. That's enough. And then I kind of do the same thing. First I like to distribute it. Okay. And then roll it out. The eye essence is great just for puffiness and dark circles around the eyes. Okay. But it has nothing to do with anti-aging and it has nothing to do with hydrating. That's why you need an eye cream on top ah, of it. Ah, okay. And then you can just do an eye cream by itself at night. amazing when you do the pressure mm -hmm. the you can actually do like just to deep off this area right mm -hmm. here you can pressure point right here really? and almost kind of like roll it out really and then right here as well and then everything goes back to your temples from here and then from here uh. Neck cream. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I have you never have used neck cream. You have to take care of your neck and decollete. This is as important as your face is. Okay. Um. So just again, like a, just a pea size of it. Okay. You're gonna distribute it all over your decollete and then upwards your neck. And you always want to try to do an upward motion. And how often do you do this? Every day? Twice a day? Every night. Every yeah. night. Okay. And with the time, you want to go ahead and do it um, both morning and night. But at least whenever you're starting out, start um, at least with the night okay. routine. And this is a separate product from mm -hmm. your moisturizer? Okay. Well, because we do have a little bit of a different skin texture than we do on our face. Mm -hmm. We need a little bit more um, lifting and firming on our neck. Oh. Because after our eyes, this is where the next area that we show any signs of aging. <laughs> True. <laughs> and then, yeah, that's pretty much it. Really? Do we, we don't do... Oh, so it's part of my... The neck cream is part of my moisturizer on my face, too? Or is it the same thing? It's the different... It's like the different product that you'll do okay. um, for the nighttime. Okay. And then um, the last thing I'm going to do is just a little bit of a lip treatment. Okay. A little bit dry. Yes. Hydrate them as well, and if you ever feel like your lips are getting too dry, just go ahead and leave it um, for the night. Okay. It has a clear texture, okay. and it feels almost like a gloss. So I don't use an overall moisturizer on my face. We just did the gel. Oh, the gel. That's right. Mm -hmm. I forgot. That's right. Because our eyes are last. Mm-hmm. I forgot. That's backwards from how I know. <laughs> okay. And then that's pretty much it. Okay. Whenever you're done, you, you should always feel like your skin is very soft and yeah. moist. Yes. Um, that's kind of like the feeling that you always want to have whenever okay. you're done with your skincare routine. And then do we do a um, sunblock or yes, sun cream? Yes. For the daytime, whenever you're done, okay. you have to apply. Um, it either has to be just the product by itself or if you have it in your foundation or a CC combat. Okay. Okay. And I was told that you have to look for titanium oxide or zinc mm -hmm. oxide? That's the, um, well, it's best whenever it's both physical and chemical okay. SPF because um, one kind of like uh, neutralizes um, any of the like sunlight and then another one bounces Black. back. So it's okay. always better whenever you have both. Oh my gosh. Thank you so much. You're Fatima. welcome, honey. <laughs> Thank you for look coming. Look at this. Say hi. <laughs> Thank you. She's in Miami. She traveled all the way to Houston. Yep, just to do the event. Thank you so much. You're welcome, honey. Thank you for coming. Thank you. Oh, I'll post this and let everybody tell me what you think. Alrighty. <laughs> See you guys later. Bye.